Hello everyone, welcome to this vlog on how to set up a Kubernetes cluster on Ubuntu 22.04. Kubernetes is an open source container or custodian platform that allows you to manage and scale containerized applications. It is also known as KITS. A Kubernetes cluster consists of worker nodes on which application workload is deployed and a set of master nodes which are used to manage worker nodes and Kubernetes objects like ports, deployment, services in the cluster. In this video tutorial, we will be using one master node and the one worker node. For Kubernetes cluster, following are the system requirements. We need 2 GB of RAM or more on each node, 2 CPU or vCPUs on each node, 20 GB free disk space, internet connectivity, a local user with pseudo writes, and one master node and the one worker node. We will follow the following installation step. The first step, we will update the host entries, disable swap, add kernel parameters on each node, install container D as a container runtime, enable Kubernetes repository on each node, install kube ADM, kube kettle, and the kube CTL utility. After that, we will initialize the Kubernetes cluster and then we will add a worker node to the cluster and install Calico CLI plugin. In the last, we will test the Kubernetes cluster installation. Let's deep dive into the actual step. I have already logged into both the nodes, master and the worker. Let's first verify the OS version of both the nodes. Run lsb underscore release command. This output confirms that master node is running on Ubuntu 22.04. Let's run the same command on the worker node. Great, the output confirms that Walker is also running on Ubuntu 22.04. The first step is to add the host entries in the etc host file of both the nodes. For that, edit slash etc slash host file, add the following entries. As per your environment, these IPs and the host name may differ, so make the changes as per your setup. In my lab, I am using the following IPs and the host name on the nodes. Save and close the file. Add the same entries and the worker host file as well. Next step is to disable the swap on both the nodes. For that, run the following swap off in the search command. The first command will temporarily disable the swap. The second command will disable the swap in the fsf file. Run the same command on the worker node. Okay. Now Create a container d.conf file, add the following parameters, use mode probe command to add hourly and br underscore net filter kernel modules. Then the same set of commands on the worker too. Now create a kubernetes.conf file, add the following parameters to it. Guys, I'm, I have already prepared a set of steps in the commands that I would be referring it in, the, in, the, in this video tutorial. I will also share those steps and the commands in the video description for your reference. Create the same Kubernetes file and the must node as well. the following content save and close the file now reload the kernel parameters that we have just entered in the configuration files for that run sysctl command
okay next step is to install container d as a container runtime and enable kubernetes repository but before installing a container d first we must install its dependencies so run the following apt install command to install container d dependencies next step is to add docker repository for that first we will download its gpg file and then run add apt repository command to add its repository and the same command in broker now as well now we are all set to install container d then the following apt command Once the container D is installed, configure it so that it start using system D as a C group. For that, run the following set of commands. Restart the container D and enable its service across the reboot. Next step is to install Cube ADM, Cube Kettle, and Kubelet utility on master and the worker node. But before that, first we need to enable the Kubernetes repositories for that. So run the following curl and sudo apt command to configure the Kubernetes repositories. Hit enter. Now install the kubeadm, kubekettle, and kubelet utility using the apt command. Once these utilities are installed, we are all set to initialize our Kubernetes cluster. So this will take a minute or two. Okay, initialize the Kubernetes cluster from the master node. Run the following cube ADM space init command. This command will initialize the Kubernetes cluster. It will start the control plane endpoint on this node k8 as master.example.com. Hit enter. It will start pulling the required images to form a control plane of the Kubernetes cluster. It may take four to five minutes depending upon the internet speed.
okay the output confirms that control plane has been successfully initialized so to interact with the cluster copy this command and paste it on the terminal make a note of this command we will be using this command to add a worker node to the cluster so before that let's run a couple of kubectl commands great it says that our control plane with the name kts master is running with a kubernetes version of 1.26.3 but the status is not ready the status will only become ready when we install any cni plugin so in this tutorial we will be installing a calico cni plugin but before that let's add a worker node to the cluster copy this command hit enter this command will join the worker node to the cluster it may take a couple of seconds the output confirms that node has joined the cluster let's go back to the master node rerun the kubectl get nodes command output confirms that worker node has joined the cluster but the status is not ready for let's install the calico cni plugin for that run the kubectl apply command so this will download the required images will create a service account create a required config map crds etc so the ports of the calico uh, cni will be provisioned in cube hyphen system namespace so to verify the status of the ports run cube kettle ports hyphen Great. The output confirms that Calico Cube Controller port status is running. Node port is also running, and the core DNS ports is also in running state. So we can say this cluster installation is completed. So to test this cluster installation, let's uh, deploy nginx based deployment and expose this uh, deployment using a uh, type node port and try to access the application outside of the cluster for that and then the following cube ctl create deployment command okay in this command i am creating a deployment with the name nginx hyphen app using an image nginx with the replica count 2 hit enter wait for a couple of seconds and then check the status of deployments and the ports the deployment in the ports would be created in the default namespace because we have not specified any namespace in the cube kettle command. Okay, still it is in container creating state. Let's wait for a couple of more seconds. Okay, the ports are up and running. Now expose this deployment. For that, run the following kubectl expose deployment command. Now verify the service status. Run kubectl get svc and kubectl describe svc. Okay. So it says deployment is exposed on the node port 31679 and the service endpoints are 
2 because we have given the replica count as 2 initially in our deployment command. So that's why we have two endpoints here. Now try to access this uh, deployment or the Nginx web page outside of the cluster. For that, use a curl command. That's all from this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Please do like the video and subscribe our channel. Thank you. Bye. Have a nice day.